open and my axle grease. She knows just how to treat me right. Biker TV is brought to you by Hogsotic Custom Cycles. Zuber and Company. BikerTV.ca Welcome to Biker TV. By bikers, for bikers. This week, bikes, babes, and rock and roll. Because that's what Biker TV's all about. She stole my heart, so I gave her the key. Welcome to Biker TV. I'm here in New Liskert, Ontario for the Bikers Reunion. Put on by our friend Barry Pippin. It's an awesome event, raising money for cancer. 15,000 bikers, all having a good time. Let's get this reunion rolling. <laughs> Barry Pippen, the chairman of the Bikers Union. And uh, quite an undertaking here. Why? Why? I sometimes ask myself that. Uh, well, just look around and you see why. The, the people that come here, the families, the children, the grandparents, the bikers, the whole community gets involved in this event. So it's, it's quite, a, quite an undertaking, but it's well worth it. We're in New Liskard, northern Ontario, which is about 100 miles north of North Bay. And uh, this is our fifth fifth event. It started out not being a bikers reunion, just an open house at my sign shop. We flipped burgers, invited some motorcycles over, and we've grown to this over 20,000 spectators last year, and over 3,000 motorcycles. Well, it's kind of amazing how the whole community gets involved. We have schools that help out, churches groups. Uh, motorcycle clubs, police forces, the council. We have over 500 volunteers. All this is put on by volunteers. None of us get paid for this. And uh, we work at 12 months a year, mostly seven days a week. We have to put our nose to the stone. And, and uh, basically everybody comes and enjoys it. It's not just for bikers. And Bye. Wow. 
served over 300 already. Yeah, it's been a good turnaround. uh, What's the difference between a biker's breakfast and any other breakfast? (laughs) I guess you'd have to ask a true biker. (laughs) The bikers that come in in a huge amount, so we were prepared for their breakfast. I was here at quarter after five this morning. And I've been going through, uh, for the last couple of days, I've been preparing the food for over 1,500 people all together. Uh, I just enjoy volunteering, and it's for a good cause. And Barry's been putting a lot of work into it, and certainly, if we can... He's a nasty biker. (laughs) I haven't seen too much of him in action, so I can't honestly say. We've been also hearing some rumors about Giselle Mafia. Now, is this the Mafia right here? <laughs> I, I guess so. This is a big clan. These are all my friends. No, it doesn't take much to get along in this world. All you got to be is kind. For your own peace of mind. Your own peace of mind. For your own peace of mind. So tell me about yourself. Um, I live in Sudbury, Ontario, but I grew up in New Lisker. I uh, work as a correctional officer. I work in the community, though, with young offenders. Um, I've been riding uh, motorcycles for three years, and then I went uh, down to Maxon. Uh, we saw the ad in a magazine, and we're like, oh, we're going to go down and, and check things out. And I saw him running, and thought, I can do that. Cool. So we ran around, got a leather suit, got a helmet, got some gloves. And I ended up racing the bike. I did my licensing passes. So you had to do 125, 150, 175 miles an hour. And then you could go as fast as you wanted to go. So we, we just kept going back every meet and going faster and faster. We did 210 miles an hour, then 211. After that pass, there's another woman there. She was trying to beat my record. And uh, she didn't make the corner and she went down. Oh no. She broke her collarbone. She got road rash. Does that scare you when you see someone wipe out? Yeah, I was I was a mess after that. I was, you know, just <clears throat> trying to get focused and get back on track. And, but I did it, put my helmet on, just sat there so nobody would talk to me. And, and then uh, my next pass, 218 miles an hour. I was coming back down the, like when you, you go through, you shut down the bike and then there's the return lane. I was falling all the way back the, <clears throat> down the return lane. And just because I knew I had done it, I looked on a GPS 218. That's awesome. <clears throat> yeah. The young people that you that you work with, the young offenders, probably think you're pretty cool. Yeah. They look up to you and yeah, respect you. Yeah, they do. Yeah. A lot of the girls, they, I work with a lot of female young offenders and, you know, they're unhappy and don't really have any hope. and. So, you know, it kind of shows them that, you know, anybody can, you know, you put your mind to it and you really want to do something special like that. Hey, look, I came from a small town and ended up uh, having a world record. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're doing something that most people would never dream of doing. That's right, yeah. yeah that's yeah. right. So 
closed captioning by The Eagle's Nest. Biker TV isn't our show, it's yours. We always appreciate your feedback. Drop us a line at bikertv.ca. Where, where are you actually from? Uh, West Branch, Michigan. Oh, really? Yeah, it was about a 12-hour ride here. This is the third consecutive year we've been here, and we'll keep bringing more people every year. You know what, though? Canadian parties kick ass, so why wouldn't you be here? Right? <laughs> hey? Uh, yeah. Hey? Yeah, a little late. <laughs> a little late. <laughs> Well, you can see the map over there. We have a map where they, when they register, they put a pin in. We've got people from Baton Rouge, uh, out in British Columbia. We had some people register online from Germany that are here. And uh, basically all across Canada and the United States. And, and across the, the ocean, too. I'm uh, president of Chapter 5106. I'm kind of unique. I'm a double amputee, and uh, if I can do it, you can do it. And if you're not a biker and you want to be, what are you waiting for? Get into it and get at her. I'm 65. <laughs> yeah. My partner's 100. You're the 100. I'm 65. 165 years of experience. You're the 65, and you're the 100. Hey, hey, just I'd be upset with that. Just the other He's way like, time out. <laughs> Terry Pippen was my brother, uh, my oldest brother, he just passed away cancer, and he was a big supporter of this event, he was always there for me, and uh, that's why the, uh, the Freedom Ride is in memory of him. That was his last ride before Terry passed away, he, he, he made it to the hospital on the back of a motorcycle on my brother's bike, and, uh, and that was his last ride before he passed away. My mom and him were diagnosed with cancer the same week, and the event had been going for years. It's not like it's not like I did this because of them. The, the event was probably going for about four, three, four years, and they both passed away within six months of each other. And they were both big supporters of this. That's why you'll see uh, we did a, a sign up for both of them, tell them their story and how they they were there from day one. So their spirit is here with us. You don't yeah. know what to say until you've actually walked the miles. It's incomprehensible what happens. You have to learn so much medical terminology. Uh, cancer happens to other people. It never happens to yourself. That's for others. But when it hits so fast, and my message is, thank you goodness for this wonderful hospital that we have up here. I had two major surgeries within two weeks and it all got fitted in and done within four days of my diagnosis. This hospital is phenomenal and this ride is for the local cancer people. There's so many costs involved with cancer that you don't know about that OHIP doesn't cover and until you're in that situation you don't know. It's the roughest ride you're ever going to be on in your life. There's no doubt about it. And you don't know till you go there. And my husband, he goes through everything too. It, it's a whole family affair. It's not just the diagnosis. It's a killer in every way. But I had the support of wonderful doctors here. And my doctor came to my house when I pretty well gave up. And he gave me the mantra, and he said, one in six will survive, and Valerie, you are the one. And that broke me out of everything. And I said that under all my chemos, under all my horribleness and my major surgeries, I'm going to make it. And you know I am. bike is better than a good day in a car. That's yeah. true. That's true. <laughs> it's good to see you again, by the Excellent. way. Excellent. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be here. It's going to be good to uh, to have you guys. You guys are leading us on we're, the ride today. We're leading the ride today. Absolutely. Awesome. Yeah. Keeping everybody safe. And Absolutely. we got a lot of bikers out here, and that's what we want to do is keep everybody safe and make this an awesome event. 
it's a good charity, going to a great cause, and uh, it can't get any better than that. They help out kids and uh, cancer research, and it's just phenomenal. Most people are affected by cancer in some way, shape, or form. So. Oh, absolutely. You know, Everyone is, and that's what this is all about. It's just a group of people that love to ride, and we all have the same passion, get together, and pull our funding together for a great cause. That's what it's all about. And get wet. And get wet. But still happy. All part of the fun. <laughs> Who's going to tell me where we're going? That would be you, sir. If, if you don't know where we're going, yeah, we're, we're in trouble. Yeah, we're in trouble. <laughs> We're heading up to the hospital right now. We're going to give out the roses and care packages to every patient and every nurse in the hospital. We're about 25 minutes there, and then we head out on the highway, and we take you on a 70-mile scenic tour through four different communities, and every road is blocked first. And we're in a pack for 70 miles. So you'll see lots of Canadian flags, lots of smiles, lots of horns. It's a special day for everyone. It's not a, a sunny day, but I'm sure you've got huge numbers of bikes. It doesn't matter. We're going. We're going. We're going. If you don't ride in the rain, you don't matter. ride. Uh, that's right. That's right. <laughs> We're handing out the care packages and the roses to, to the patients and the nurses of the hospital and we're spreading a few smiles and some hope. We're showing that bikers like to give back. We're not all bad. The whole community is back yeah, in this. Yeah. All along the road were people waving and honking yeah, and yeah. just loving yeah, we, being we, us we, out. we just started. We just started. It, it takes over 500 volunteers to put this show on. All volunteers. And when it comes together like this, it's... it's makes me very proud, very proud. It's very emotional. My brother's riding with us today, and every person out here has somebody riding with them in memory. Cancer's really close to home for you. Cancer's very close to home. It's, it's hit every one of us in some way or another, and uh, we just want to beat it back for a while, too. And if we can do it for one day, we've done our job. Here are you doing your brother proud? I hope so. I hope so. Who else is affected by cancer in your family? Who my mom and my brother died within six months oh in the God. past year. My daughter, my daughter, my daughter was diagnosed with cancer at six, and she was given zero chance to live. She's 19 now, so we just take every day that we can build on it. This will be our fifth right here. That guy Ready to roll? Wants to get on TV That's, really bad. All right. I'll Thank talk. you so much yeah, for having us. We are. Thoroughly impressed with what you're doing here. Thanks, sweetheart.
Biker TV is brought to you by Heavy Duty Cycle, Motorcycle Mojo Magazine, Casa Custom Homes, So I gave her the key She keeps my distance pumping and my axle grease She knows just how to treat me 